All right, everybody, welcome back for another deep dive. Today, we're looking into something that I think a lot of you are going to be interested in, and that is the good old content marketing versus PPC debate. Yeah, always a lively one. It is. It's a classic. Yeah. And we've got some interesting thoughts on this topic from RP Design. Now, they've been in the marketing game for yeah. over 20 years, so they've definitely seen a lot of changes and trends come and go. Right. Seems like they've come down pretty firmly on one side of this debate, too. Yeah, they have. And, you know, I think a lot of you out there listening are probably either feeling the pinch of your, you know, PPC budget, yeah. just constantly throwing money at Google and Facebook, or maybe you're just looking for something a little bit more sustainable, a little bit more long term. So let's dive in and see what RP Design has to say. Sounds good. The core argument from RP Design seems to be that they really think that content marketing is a smarter investment over time than PPC. Yeah, it's that classic like short term gain versus building something that lasts. You know, like you're building a house versus renting an apartment kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. And they specifically call out this idea that, you know, content mm -hmm. marketing yeah. can keep working for you for years. Right. Which is really intriguing because with PPC it's like Yeah, you turn off the tap and the leads dry up. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. Like you said, it's like, you know, renting an apartment. Not exactly. Versus owning a property. Yeah. So how do they how do they kind of break down this idea of long term value? Um, well, they don't really get into specific case studies okay. or anything like that, but I think the underlying principle they're getting at yeah. is that with content marketing, if you do it right, yeah. you're creating assets yeah. that have the potential to just keep generating traffic and leads over time. Okay. You know, like a well-written blog post, and if it ranks well in search results, yeah. it could attract visitors for years to come yeah. without you having to constantly pump money into ads. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they also claim that content marketing is more cost effective over time. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that is that always the case though? I mean, I think it depends. You know, yeah, content marketing definitely requires an upfront investment. Yeah, like you got to create the content. Yeah. you got to you got to promote it. You got to get it out there. But I think what RP Design is getting at is that it has this potential for compounding returns. Oh, okay, I like that. Yeah, it's like a snowball effect. Mm -hmm. You know. The more good content you have out there, yeah. the more visible you become, yeah. the more authority you build, mm -hmm. the more organic traffic you attract. And that means you can start to rely less and less on paid ads. Okay, so it kind of builds upon itself. Right, exactly. Yeah. So in the long run, it could definitely be more cost effective. Now, they do mention this proprietary method that they use, and they're basing it on something called Google Buyer Intent. Oh, yeah. I'm not entirely sure what that is. So Buyer Intent is basically all about understanding what your potential customers are actually searching for online. So it's not just about, you know, looking at keywords. It's about understanding the why behind those searches. Mm -hmm. So what are their needs? What are their problems? What are they trying to achieve? And by tapping into that, you can create content that really resonates with your target audience. Okay. So instead of interrupting them with an ad, Hmm. You're basically right. creating content that they're actively looking for. Exactly. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And I'm sure RP Design has like, you know, tools and processes to really analyze this buyer intent mm -hmm. and figure out how to create the right content to attract those people. I mean, they've been in the game for 20 years. Yeah. So I'm sure they've got a few tricks up their sleeve. Yeah. They also talk about becoming an authority in your industry through content marketing. How does, how does that actually work? Well, I think it goes back to trust. Think about it. Like, w would you rather buy from someone who's constantly shouting sales messages at you or someone who's providing genuine value and insights? Yeah, no one likes to be sold to it. Right, exactly. And content marketing gives you this opportunity to position yourself as a helpful resource, someone who actually understands the problems your target audience is facing, mm. and that can build a lot of trust. Yeah which ultimately leads to more sales. So it's like you're building relationships. Exactly. Yeah. Instead of just, you know, trying to make a quick buck. So essentially what I'm hearing from RP Design is it's all about playing the long game. Yeah. You know, attracting customers naturally. Yeah. Instead of constantly having to pay for their attention. Yeah. I think that's a pretty good summary. Yeah. But I do have to ask, though, hmm. does PPC still have a place? Oh, absolutely. I don't think it's like a one or the other situation. Yeah. I mean, PPC can be great for short-term campaigns, okay. product launches. Yeah. You know, if you need immediate visibility, you need to get your message out there quickly. PPC can be a really effective tool. Mm -hmm. It also allows for very precise targeting. Okay. So you can make sure you're reaching 
the right people at the right time. So it's about finding the right tool yeah. for the job. I like that. Yeah. So we've covered a lot of ground here about content marketing, its potential for you know, long-term value, mm -hmm. cost effectiveness, building trust. How do you think someone listening to this <laughs> can really apply these ideas to their business? Well, I think the key takeaway here is to really think about what kind of content would be genuinely valuable to your ideal customer. Yeah. You know, it's not just about creating content for the sake of creating content. Right. It's about creating content that's actually going to help people solve their problems, yeah. answer their questions, and ultimately make their lives better. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, yeah, it's all about providing value. Exactly. All right. Well, I think that's a fantastic place to wrap up. So think about what you've learned today. Weigh the pros and cons of both approaches, content marketing versus PPC, and decide what's the best fit for your business. Keep diving deep, keep learning, and as always, happy marketing.